I don't know why, like, I don't know, like, for my menses, God must want me to direct you guys to finding out more about who it is that you are through your astrology, because he keep giving me all of these topics that will require you guys to get your birth chart. So, today we are talking about your south node and your north node, what those two things mean for you currently today and how to balance certain things in your life so that you are fulfilling your life purpose so y'all gotta excuse my bandage i got my um i had to get my tattoo touched up like my tattoo artist was playing so i had to go and get my um my tattoo touched up this week so yeah you guys so we're about to get into talking about your south node and your north node and what exactly what does that mean like uh what does that have to do with uh, today the price and tea in china my everyday life what do that got to do about me getting this money so let's get into it okay so what's your birth chart so you guys know that i talked to you guys about past life karma um last monday or the monday before last okay so with that, um, I told you guys to pull your birth chart. So, when you pull your birth chart, you realize that you have a south node placement and a north node placement within your birth chart, right? And that has to do with um, the moon cycles and the solar cycles. And that's also why solar eclipses and lunar eclipses can affect us in different ways. Oh, why? So, your south node are the things that you are comfortable in it's your comfort zone it's your sweet spot is what you've always done in a past life your nerve node is what you have come into this lifetime to grow in it's the way you step out of your comfort zone okay so you can think of your self node as more of your comfort zone your innate gifts, things that you do that naturally come to you, things that you do to naturally acquire the things that you want to acquire in this life or in life, period. Whereas your North Node requires you to step out of your comfort zone and to obtain certain things in a different way and also to obtain certain things within this lifetime that you did not obtain in your last lifetime. Okay, so let's get into it. So... Using myself for an example, as an example, right? So my north node is in Scorpio, and my south node is in Taurus, okay? So I am basically here to break out of my comfort zone or things that I may have done in the past or in a, not really in a past, in a past life, okay? So having Taurus in the south node means that I was very much concerned about materialistic things, holding on to material things, um, finding happiness in what it is that I had around me, finding happiness within my possessions, um, holding on to things, not being afraid, I mean, not being, um, being afraid to kind of like let things go, right? Um, what else? Also, let me see, let me see. Um... Oh, also kind of feeling like um, if everything goes this particular way, then I'll be happy. If I have all of these things, um, this is, you know, these particular possessions and things of that nature, then I will be happy, right? South Node in Taurus. My North Node is in Scorpio. So Scorpio is all about transformation transforming um intensity mystery um digging up the mysteries and 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 deep things um occult knowledge things of that nature right so that's what scorpio sexuality passion that's what um scorpio represents okay 